So my definition of contender is not someone that can contend. No, contending means you can win the championship. They can't win the championship. Yes. Uh, all, they need is Denver. Uh, all, they need all, is... all they need is someone else to beat Denver. Yes, yeah, someone yeah. else to beat Denver. Yeah. That is that is that is what you're sticking with. Match up. That's what you're sticking with. Um, my guess is Denver will end up being the one seed. They're a game and a half out. Minnesota just lost Cat for probably at least four to six weeks. Uh, he tore his meniscus. And um, OKC, I mean, maybe they could be the one seed. It's possible. I yeah. don't think they're contenders. I'm sick and tired of a media narrative pushing the Lakers based on one guy, Anthony, uh, LeBron. I was going to say Anthony Davis, LeBron James. They're pushing it off of one guy. Let's just be honest. If we, if we can just, at least if we can be honest with ourselves, it would make things a whole lot easier because there's no way in the world that anyone on earth would ever say a team that's 34 and 30 and the 10 seed with 18 games left would be a contender for the championship. Oh, we, were not, we, we were not calling the Miami Heat contenders when they were two minutes from being eliminated in the second playing game last year. And realistically, you and I both picked them to lose. I thought they'd get swept last year. And as I did say, the Lakers uh, advancing was a fluke. The Heat advancing the way they did happen to be a fluke, in my opinion. Yes, did I get excited? Well, the fluke being that Giannis got hurt. Yes, I thought after we won, I think it was game one, I got excited. Was I rational? Probably not. Because we, we, we got our ass kicked in the second game. The yeah. one game that Giannis didn't play. Exactly. So, well, we got our ass kicked in that game. So, and then we managed to win those games. I mean, look, and we can, we can, we can be real. Jimmy Butler. We saw the greatest playoff performance in NBA history in that series. Bluntly, we saw the greatest one series playoff performance. It was better than Dwayne Wade in the finals. What Jimmy Butler did. In that series, at least for the Miami Heat, it was even better than anything LeBron James ever did for the Heat, including that game versus the Boston Celtics. What Jimmy Butler did in that one in, in those two games where we're down 15, 16 points in the fourth quarter, the 56 point game was the best game I've ever seen a Miami Heat player play. It, I mean, it was unbelievable for the situation at hand. You're down 15, 16 points in the fourth, and he just goes completely off the fucking wall. That said, do I expect Jimmy? I mean, I would love it if he has another has another series where he's averaging 40 a game. Do I expect it? Not necessarily. I think that's what makes it flukish. It's like the greatest thing you've seen. Now, the Celtics, I thought, was, you know, we were – that was more of a fluke because, I mean, realistically, yeah, we were confident at that point, but I don't know that anyone thought that the Heat would be up 3-0 in that series. I, I mean, I thought it would go 7. I just didn't think it would go 3-0, 3-0, <laughs> you know. And, and then we get the benefit of – I don't think the Celtics beat us in game seven because Jason Tatum getting hurt, he was still playing the whole game. He was hurt. We beat the snot out of them. It wasn't like it was a close game. If it had been a one or two point game, you're sitting here saying, yeah, we, 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 we dodged a bullet, you know, but they dodged the bullet the game before that when they hit a freaking layup on a rebound to, look yeah. to, to beat us in Miami. Yeah. 